Hi, Mark. Hey, Squirt. What's up? Well, you remember last week when Nemo died? Yeah, you really loved that fish, didn't you? I did. Well, I loved him, too. You give a nice funeral, though. Big hole in the backyard. Yeah, but I didn't like how I felt when I was crying. It kind of hurt and snot ran out of my nose and my face felt like a hot dish rack. I didn't like that. No one likes that feeling, but it's just part of life. Yeah, well, you know, yesterday, Dad brought home a new fish. I saw. Real beauty. Did you name him? I didn't. That's what I came to talk to you about. Okay. Well, when I first saw him, I remembered Nemo. I remembered how I thought he was cool and all that, but I didn't love him. Like, if he died the next day, I might have been a little pissed. Uh-uh. Angry. Yeah, angry. And I wouldn't have cried like I did after I had him for five months, two weeks, and half a day. It wouldn't have hurt like that. All fish die, don't they, Mark? I'm afraid so. Yeah, well, because I didn't want to get that dish raggy feeling again. I thought about it all last night. And this morning, this morning I got up really early. And, and I went downstairs and, and I took him out of his tank and I cut off his head with my jackknife and I flushed him down the toilet. Uh, uh-huh. I do the right thing, Mark. You know what? What? I I think Nemo's up in heaven and he's happy. You know why? Why? You learned a very important lesson from him. Thanks, Mark. Bye. Any, anytime. If you could just hear me out for a second, Emily, everything will be okay. No, I'm done trying to make things work. You go from me to him back and forth and I'm, I'm sick of it. This isn't the way it's supposed to be. How is it supposed to be? I thought we came to an agreement. Oh, that sounds so terrible. Do not bring your lawyer talk between us. We spoke about this. He is my husband and the father of my children. This thing between us, I don't... I don't know anymore. If we can't, no, I'm done going back and forth. I'm married to him. What the hell is marriage nowadays anyway? What does, what does it even mean to anyone anymore? It does have meaning. Brainwashed lies. I only want you. You have me. Not in the way I need. <laughs> what more can I give you? I mean, we're the best of friends. We love one another. I tell you everything. And then it comes tumbling down and I'm left alone like a dog waiting for its owner to come back and take me for a walk. I don't want to be your owner. You're free to see who you like. I won't like it any more than you do, but I have to respect you and the nature of our relationship. I've never conversed with anyone before and it would be nice to come first for once, that's all. But you can't put that responsibility on me. You can't. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. And I won't. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't think for a second that this is actually easy for me. Oh, God, we sound like some crappy cliche soap opera. I want life and vigor and passion and realism. I don't want this stupid talk. What do you want me to say, Emily? Do you want me to just die? Is that what you need? You all suck me dry. This is supposed to be my happy time with you. What do you mean I suck you dry? You and everyone else in my life. My kids, my husband, my mother. You all stress me to the bone and I have to accommodate each and every one of your needs. Well, I don't want to be a chore for you, Fabrica. You don't need to give me anything. Forget it. <laughs> I'm emotionally drained. I just need to zone out of my existence and forget I'm alive for as long as possible. Is it possible? What? 
to ignore your own existence? It's called meditation. Well, is there such thing as beyond meditation? <laughs> Sometimes I just want to leave my body and like just forget I exist, you know? I'm stuck. <laughs> We're all stuck. Stuck with my past, my visions, my thoughts, my worries. I want to be someone else. I want to forget Fabrica and slip into another consciousness, you know? Just start over, have new memories, new experiences. I wish so bad. I wish I can just think things and make things exactly how I want them to without having to put in the work. That'd be nice. Everything is work. Hustle, 24-7. <laughs> That's why we should appreciate the time we spend. I mean, perhaps that's what happiness is. Not wanting more and being content with what's given. Yeah. I'm sorry. I can't give you everything you deserve. I'm so sorry, Emily. I, I feel like it's my fault and it is. I should have never approached you. No, um, it's not you. It's me. I have my own life to sort out and I shouldn't force you to clean up my dirty laundry. It's my fault. Well, if we can't accept what this is or how it'll work, uh, I'm afraid I don't think we should continue. Do you? I think you're right. You do? Yeah, I do. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I just... I don't like this. This chair? Dr. Jody. Gotcha. She's very annoying. You don't like her? Since the very beginning. I thought everybody around here liked her. You think she cured cancer the way they talk about her in commissary? I know. She's the best. She's so helpful. She got me to open right up. Open right up like a flower. I hate that one. That one and we haven't met yet, have we? No. Not officially. I've seen you around. We're always around. We don't have very many places to go. Right. I'm Ophelia. Juliet. Juliet Capulet. So, did you... Yeah. Me too. Really? Really? That's how we got the golden ticket to Loserville. I guess. So, how did you... Drown myself. Mm, knife in the stomach. Ow! Really? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking. I just sort of... <sighs> then it all just... It seems so stupid now. <sighs> Tell me about it. I went mad beforehand. First thing I... No, I'm in the East Hall. The next thing I know, I'm underwater. Surprise. You're not mad now. No, no. I see everything clear as well. I see a lot of things clear as day. A lot. A lot. A lot. Sorry. Dr. Jody says I have anger issues. Me too. Anger management program. I think we have a lot to be angry about. Dr. Jody three times a week. Being dead makes me angry. I hate being dead. It sucks. It really sucks being dead. Dr. Jody wouldn't like that kind of talk. Sometimes I want to shove her glasses up her nose. Sometimes I want to shove that bobblehead up her nose. The one on her desk? 
She changes them. Have you noticed? Oh, it's the mood of the day. The mood of the day, bobblehead. I would totally feel so much better if I shoved that bobblehead up her nose. That would be awesome. Guess my mood, Dr. Jody. Up yours, Dr. Judy. Up yours! <laughs> she keeps pushing the crafts on me. She keeps trying to get me to do yoga. Do you like it? Hate it. Do you like the crafts? I hate the crafts. They're stupid crafts. Why do we make why do we have to make empty propsicle pig? <laughs> Why do we have to make empty popsicle stick picture frames in bird houses? Are there any birds? None. None. No birds. We're making empty popsicle stick picture frames in empty bird houses for eternity for nothing. We don't even have any pictures to fill them. There are no birds. Why are we doing that? I got assigned extra Dr. Jody time because I question the sanity of decorative macaroni pot holders. I have nowhere to decorate. I have no one to decorate for, and as far as I'm concerned, the epitome of uselessness is the decorative pot holder. I hate the bingo. I, I hate the shuffleboard. You know, I can live with the shuffleboard. There's something about the way the puck drifts across the floor. Drifting, drifting. It's peaceful mesmerizing but then i remember what happened to me and i get angry all over again you can't let go of the past i can hold the past in an iron fist a death grip a post death grip <laughs> does she give you the letter last speech <laughs> she gives it to me weekly Sometimes daily. Oh, man. If you want to let go, Juliet, you need to be calmer, more peaceful. Just like the shuffleboard, Ophelia. Calm and peaceful. You need to let go, Juliet. Swish. Let go. Swish. Let go of the past, Juliet. Hmm, maybe I hate the shuffleboard. You know, I don't want to let go of my past. I like getting angry when I think about my past. I want to think about my past over and over again and get really, really angry about it. I love feeling angry. Stupid Romeo. Stupid Hamlet. Did you go mad over a guy? I got a twofer. There was a guy and I was being manipulated by my dad. My dad said I had to marry this guy I totally didn't want to marry. And when I said I wouldn't marry him because I'd already married someone else, he freaked out. My dad died. My guy told me to get lost. And next thing I know, did you do it over your dad? A guy. A guy I knew for one day. Where's he? Dead. Did he? Oh, yeah. Poison. Over me. Supposedly, he loved me so much he couldn't live without me and took poison over my dead body. That is. So he's here? A big pile of love. He's so not. So he's here. here? No. He moved on. He left you behind? Eons ago. How's that for true love? No wonder you're pissed. Did you love him? Loved him enough to knife myself in the stomach. Now, not so much. Now, I'd like to take his little insides and pull them outside of his body. What is it with guys? I never had one single solitary thought to myself when I was alive. Go here, Ophelia. Do this, Ophelia. To a nunnery, Ophelia. Oh, I thought for myself. Thought for myself right into a knife in the stomach. If I had just one single, solitary thought to myself in my life, I would not have ended up in that river. I know it. You couldn't help it. You went insane. What's the deal with going insane for a guy? Guys suck. Romeo picks his nose. Hamlet farts and walks away. 
Romeo wears socks with sandals. Why would I want to move on? I just have to be happy about seeing all the people that jerked me around in my life. Do I really want to see them all that much? Do I really want to see Romeo being happy with another girl? It's really not that bad here. If I want to eat ice cream at three in the morning, I can. No one gets in my face. I like that. No parents telling you to marry some dope who has hairy monkey breath? Exactly. Come on. Where are we going? To yell at Dr. Jody. We're going to stay angry for the rest of eternity. The commissary has chocolate mint ice cream. I love chocolate mint. Let's celebrate our anger. To anger! Huzzah! Huzzah! I know you think I murdered your ferret, but hey, no, no, don't start crying. You're, <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. And you know what happens when we both start crying. <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, you're doing it to me now. Okay. Okay. Julia. Your ferret ran away. He did. I know you don't want to believe me, but I, I know this because uh, I saw him. Yeah, and he was wearing the yellow rain slicker, not the winter coat you tie-dyed for him. So I think he was headed to Seattle. And I don't think we should follow him, Julia. I mean, that Payless box was not big enough. And you always forgot to feed him. And when you did, it was just pebbles and sticks. I don't think ferrets can live off of that. But I mean, Seattle has a lot more to offer Fuzu. You know, like food, drinks, warm shelter, intellectual stimulation, propensal contentment. I mean, like, he deserves that, don't you think? I know coming in and seeing me with a knife over Fuzu's box might look rather strange, but you miss him, don't you? I could be your ferret. Don't dismiss it right away. I mean, I'd be a great pet. I like to curl up in small places, and I don't mind rocks or sticks. And you can even knit me a winter coat, and you don't even have to tie-dye it if you don't want to. Okay? That's okay with me. Is that okay with you? Okay. Let me just go wash off this knife and throw this bag away, and then I'll curl up in my box and you can throw me a ball. Okay? Uh, don't back away from me. There's no reason to be scared. <laughs> Don't you want me here? I mean, if I'm not here, who's gonna sing to you? I, I know the entire sound like just soundtrack to Sleepless Inn, and I don't know where I'm, where I'm supposed to go, Julia. And I, I could follow Fuzu. I could. I could go follow Fuzu to Seattle. I'll follow Fuzu. But when I go, Julia, you're gonna have to rinse off this knife for me. I won't be able to do it. I don't have a yellow rain slicker. Well, that's something, isn't it, Olive? They think we're lucky. They think we're enjoying this. They don't know what it's like, Olive. They don't know what it's like. I'd be immensely grateful to you, Florence, if you didn't clean up just now. It's only a few things. Can you believe they actually envy us? Florence... Leave everything alone. I'm not through dirtying up for the night. It's only a few dishes. You want me to leave them here all night? I don't care if you have them cleaned by your dentist, but don't make me feel guilty about it. I'm not asking you to do it. That's why you make me feel guilty. You're always in my bathroom hanging up my towels. Whenever someone smokes, you follow them around with an ashtray. Last night, I found you washing the kitchen floor, shaking your head and moaning, footprints, footprints. I didn't say they were yours. Well, they were mine, damn it! I have feet and they make prints. What do you want me to do? Climb across the cabinets? No, I want you to walk on the floor. Can I? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm not trying to irritate you. I'm just trying to keep the place livable. Then don't wipe the telephone. Some of my favorite fingerprints are on that telephone. <sighs> I was wondering how long that would take. How long what would take? Before I got on your nerves. I didn't say you got on my nerves. Well, it's the same thing. You said I irritate 
irritated you. You said you irritated me. I didn't say it. Then what did you say? I don't know what I said. What's the difference what I said? There is no difference. I was just repeating what I thought you said. Well, don't repeat what you thought I said. Repeat what I said. My God, it's irritating. You're, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry, Olive. I don't know what's wrong with me. Please forgive me. And don't pout. If you want to fight, we'll fight. But don't pout. Fighting, I win. Pouting, you win. You're right. Everything you say about me is absolutely right. And don't give in so easily. You're right. right. I do that too. Right. I, I always assume I'm in the wrong. Only this time you are wrong and I'm right. Oh, leave me alone. And don't sulk. That's the same as pouting. I know. I know. Damn it. Why can't I do one lousy thing right? <sighs> why didn't you throw it? I was about to. I get so in, in, in my head sometimes, you know? Then why didn't you throw the cup? What do you mean? I'm trying to control myself. Why? What do you mean, why? Why do you have to control yourself? You're angry. You felt like throwing the cup. Why don't you throw it? There's no point to it. I'd still be angry and I'd have a broken cup. How do you know how you'd feel? Maybe you'd feel wonderful. Why do you have to control every single thought in your head? Why don't you just let loose for once in your life? Do something that you feel like doing and not what you're supposed to do. Stop keeping books. Relax. Get drunk. Get angry. Come on. Break the goddamn cup. Ah! My arm! I hurt my arm! You're hopeless! <laughs> You're a hopeless mental case! I'm not supposed to use this arm! I have bursitis! You're not going to cry, are you? I think all those tears dripping on the arm is what gave you bursitis. You know what you are, Florence? You're a human accident! Uh-huh. One who just happens to cook and clean and take care of this house. I save us a lot of money, don't I? Thank you, Pain Weber. All right. I may be a bit compulsive, but I am not a grouch. We have our good times too, don't we? Good times? Florence, getting a clear picture on Channel 2 is not my idea of whoopee. What are you talking about? I spent enough nights watching you put paper strips between your toes. The night was made for better things. Like what? Like the smell of a good cigar circling under my nose. Listen to me good. There are two sexes in this world. We're one of them. I didn't make this up. But nature demands that our sex sometimes has to get in touch with their sex. You mean men? If you want to give it a name. All right, men! Well, that's funny. I haven't thought about men in weeks. I failed to see the humor. You think I don't find men attractive? I find plenty of men attractive. Like who? Name one. I always thought Adlai Stevenson was attractive. Yes, but he doesn't date anymore. Wow. Florence, we can't keep staying like this, home alone every night. Listen, I intend to go out. I get lonely too, but I'm just separated in a few weeks. Give me a little time. What am I asking? I would just like to have dinner one night with a couple of nice guys. Who would we even call? The only single man I know is my hairdresser, and he's into other things. <laughs> Leave that to me. There are two brothers who live in this building. They're Spanish. They used to live in Spain. There are a million laughs. How do you know? I was stuck with them in the elevator last time. They invited me to dinner. This will be perfect. What do they look like? Real gentlemen. They wore double-breasted suits. Double-breasted suits doesn't mean you're a gentleman. Is that cuffs on the pants? But are they young or old? Are they nice looking? I'm trying to tell you. These are two classy Spanish guys. No tops on their shoes. Which one do I get? Take whoever you want. When they walk in, point to the Spaniard of your choice. I wouldn't know what to say to them. <laughs> Will you relax? They're easy to be with. I talked to them for a half hour and didn't even understand a word they said. They don't speak English? Uh, they speak perfect English. Every once in a while. Just promise me one thing. What? Don't call one of them Sydney. Forget it. It's Manolo and Jesus. Manolo and Jesus? You don't pronounce a J. Where 
Where's the J in Manolo and Jesus? Stop worrying, will you? We're gonna have a night out. They know the best Spanish restaurant in New York. I'm not going out and being seen by everyone in this city. You think people are lining the streets waiting to see who we go out with? I'm talking about my family, my friends. What if my mother-in-law walks in and sees me drinking tequila with Manolo and Jesus? Your mother-in-law lives in Florida! That would be the one night she comes into town! Florence, I need a date. Real bad. Time's going by. My hormones are going tick-tock, tick-tock. All right, all right, but we're not going out. We'll eat here. Here? Florence, this is not a date about food. It's about nibbling fingertips. It's about fighting for a woman's honor and making sure we lose. I don't intend to lose anything. You want dinner, I'll make dinner. I'll make a roast chicken Valenciago with Spanish rice, pork dumplings, uh, and a lemon souffle. Are you crazy? You'll blow them up. They'll need help getting out of the chairs. I My food is like. My food is fluffy. Don't you tell me how to cook. You want them to nibble on your fingertips, I'll spread pate on them. Who are you calling? My kids! In case their friends tell them that their mother is a tramp! Manolo and who? Hey Zeus. How do you spell that? G E S U S. Jesus? His name is Jesus? It's a different Jesus. Will you stop boring already? You didn't tell me his name was Jesus! I'll make something simpler. Fish and loaves or something. Ah! Ugh. What are you doing? Don't do that. What are you doing? You know, you shouldn't sneak up on people on rooftops. Why are you on the roof? Why are you on the roof? I asked you first. You shouldn't be up here. And you should? What are you even doing? I am carrying a fairly obvious bag, which looks like it holds a fairly obvious lunch. On opening said obvious bag, it can be revealed that, yes, there is lunch in there. Upon further investigation, it can be seen that it is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on whole wheat bread. Although the jam is boysenberry, which could be seen as an exotic and way out there choice. That's how I roll. You, on the other hand, are covered in egg curtains. The burden of answering the what are you doing question clearly falls to you. You're the new girl, right? Or Josie. I go by either as far as names are concerned. It must get pretty confusing around here if more than one new girl arrives. Do you alternate? Sammy gets the new girl on Mondays, Wednesdays, and alternate Fridays. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Me? Lunch. You? Egg curtains. You don't seem to have a very sunny personality. I will take lack of sun over woo-woo any day. Woo-woo? Woo-woo is what happens when you duct tape egg curtains to your body. Oh. Hey, I'm not woo-woo. You're Pete. That's right. Awesome. I'm going to eat my lunch. Why are you eating on the roof? It's quiet. Usually. I don't think anyone else knew about the store being unlocked. Don't you want to eat with other people? Why do you care where I eat? I asked first. Hooray. The man gets a ribbon for first question. Why are you covered in egg curtains? Why are you answering my question with a question? Because I don't want to answer yours. Oh. Although, I may have to kill a couple cats on this one because I kind of want to know what you're doing. You'll think I'm crazy. Too late. I am not woo-woo. Said the man in an egg curtain suit. What if I don't tell? I'll run down to the office and say there's a crazy guy on the roof. You can't. Man, I know I should have done this earlier. Look, 
the rest of my life is depending on these next few moments. And if you stop me, you'll be totally responsible for ruining it. This would be the part where you tell me why. Fine. I applied to my dream school to get my dream job and I got accepted. Which in the non ache curtain world would be cause for celebration? They weren't supposed to say yes. I only applied because I was sure they'd turn me down. Why? Because now I have to go. I can't just say no to my dream job and my dream school. That's crazy. Among other things. And I want to go. It's an amazing program with great reviews. And they only select a handful of students each year, meaning they think I am special. Me. You know how exciting that is? I am freaking out. So go. I can't. Why? What if I fail? What if they think I'm good and I think I'm good, but I'm really no good? What if I crash and burn? So don't go. Are you crazy? I can't stay here. I mean, it's fine here. I like it here, but there's nothing for me. I really so, want my life to be out there. So go. I can't. No kidding. See, I know people here, and they know me. The mailman says hi. The mailman at Chapman is not going to say hi. The mailman at Chapman's not going to know my birthday. The mailman at Chapman... Or a male woman. See, I'm messing up already. What if it's a woman, and she's, I say, hello, Mr. Mailman, and she spits at me. If you can't tell a woman from a man, you really are screwed. And say I get stuck in a bear trap, and I'm stuck in the woods. Someone from Brighton's going to notice me, and I'm not going to have to die in the middle of the woods in a bear trap. There's no guarantee of that at Chapman. Are there many bears at Chapman? Or here? You're making fun of me. Oh, absolutely. So you can't stay, you can't go, and you've decided to end it all in an egg curtain swan dive. No. Sorry. Sorry. That is a horrible thing to say. I jumped ahead in the story. Please continue. So I have other things I'm afraid of. Naturally. And I thought by conquering those fears, there'd be no way that I can stay home. I'd be off to Chapman with a song in my heart. Problem solved. And what are the fears that have led you to being covered in egg curtains? Heights and falling. What? It's not woo-woo. Jumping off the ledge of the school is the definition of woo-woo. Falling off. I am going to fall off. Big difference. Here is the roof. There is the ground. How are egg curtains going to save you from, at the very least, enduring severe physical damage? Not just going to be egg curtains. I'm going to fill them with shaving cream. Oh, of course you are. And there's a couple of gym mats on the ground covered with cardboard boxes, which will break my fall. At least that's what Jim says. Jim. Jim Hill? You're kidding me. No. He's your falling expert. The guy giggling about tuna in the ventilation decks this morning? This is his idea. Yeah. Well, not really. He told me about it, but he doesn't know I'm doing it. You have got to be kidding. It'll work. He saw it on the Discovery Channel, and they wouldn't lead you astray on Discovery. It's egg cartons and shaving cream. It has to work. It's my time. I can feel it. I'm ready to get up and take control of my life. I can do it. I know I can. It's too late to run for valedictorian. Tyler Tews has it all sewn up. Tyler wouldn't be doing this. He's not afraid of anything. Pete, you can't think that this is a good idea. It sounded like a good idea. Egg cartons, shaving cream, cardboard boxes, and a couple of gym mats? That does make it sound like less than a good idea. There's got to be another way to kick your butt to Chapman. I'll even volunteer. I'll come to your house and drag you out of bed and kick your butt all the way to Chapman. You don't even know me. You don't know me either. We're even. Do you really hate being called the new girl? I mean, 
It's better than parents gone to jail, girl. <gasps> Love that one. At least I can have fun with it. Depending who you ask, my parents either shish kebabed our dog, stole the Empire State Building, or put Kool-Aid in the water supply. <laughs> Little things. Did they really do something bad? Yes, they duct taped yogurt containers to their bodies and fell off the Brooklyn Bridge. They did? Hey! <laughs> Couldn't resist. Fine. I won't call you the new girl anymore. I won't call you Lulu. Unless you go through with this whole falling thing, then I really won't be left with any other choice. <laughs> Well, why is it your school, huh? Why am I always in the wrong? Why do, why do I have to listen to you when you have zero to say? Is it because I'm young? All my life I've been young, so I'm never going to turn. You know, you know this, this school is lost, if you ask me. It's lost. You're lost. You know, but everyone wants to talk to me like I'm the one. Like I should change. <laughs> why should I change? I never got to figure out who I am, and you want me to change? That's crazy. So you taught me I was bad before I ever got to be anything. What the hell is that? Original sin or something? Yeah, I read Plato on a park bench in the Bronx. And let me tell you something. Plato, he wasn't afraid. No, Diogenes, he wasn't afraid. Socrates wasn't afraid of anything because they were men. You know, wh wh why, why are you the headmaster and I'm the student? You understand? I have to earn your respect, but you don't have to earn mine. What is that? You know, it's you that wants the A before we even start. But when I say I want the same thing, I'm nuts, right? You know, I'm going to find my place in this world. I am going to find my place in this world. You can count on it. Because this school, this school has been a miracle for me. But it's not because of you. No, it's because somebody, it's because Mr. Hoffman finally saw me. It's more than that. It's because somebody, a grown person, decided I was good before I was good. And you want to throw me out of that? And you know what I say, I never met your God, and I don't want to. Okay, you know, you're acting just like your father. Oh, do not compare me to my father. Okay, I didn't compare you, I said you were acting like him. Okay, well, isn't it? well, you're acting like your mother. See, all the bad things that you say about her, that's what you're doing. You're suffocating Henry. You're okay, suffocating. first off, first off, I love my mother. She was a great mother, okay? Yeah, I'm what you told me, you remember this. Okay, second of all, how dare you compare my mothering to my mother? You know, I may be like my father, but I am nothing like my mother. You are, okay, and you're like my mother, okay, and you're like my father. Okay, you're all the bad things about all of these people. <laughs> but especially your mother, okay? Sometimes I would just look at you in, in bed. God, and I, see, I would see her. <laughs> you have no idea how, how, how gross I felt. Yeah, well, I felt repulsed when you touched me. Okay, repulsed? You're a slob. Try not for a pulse, okay? I, 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 I made the beds, I closed the cabinets, I picked up after you like you were some infant. The thought of sleeping with you makes me want to peel my skin off. Okay, you'll never be happy in LA or anywhere else. You think you found something better, right? Opposite guy than me, you'll rebel against this. Why, because you want a voice? No, you don't want a voice. You want to complain about not having a voice. I think of being married to you, and that woman is a stranger to me. You've regressed. You've regressed. You've gone back to before you met me. It's, it's pathetic, really. Pathetic. We had a child's marriage, okay? You know, people used to tell me, you were too selfish to be a great artist. I used to defend you, but they're absolutely right. Okay? Selfish. Really. All your best acting... It's so far behind you that you've, you've regressed. You have gone back to being a hack. You gaslighted me. You're the villain here. 
Oh, you want to paint yourself as a victim because it's a good legal strategy? Fine. That's fine by me. That is completely fine. I am fine, okay with that. But you know, you and I both know that this was your life. You wanted this. This was your, you chose this. Okay? This was your life and you wanted it until you did it. You used me. Plain and simple, you you used me so you could get out of LA. I didn't yes. use you. Yes, you did. Okay? And then you blamed me for it. You blamed me. You used me and then you blamed me for it. What? You me? Yo, you you always made me aware of how I was doing wrong, how I was falling short okay life life with you has been and forever will be joyless oh so you had to go and sleep with somebody else you shouldn't be upset that i slept with her okay you should be you should be upset that i shared a laugh with her do you love her no no i don't love her she didn't hate me. She did not hate me. She did not hate me. That's one thing she has on you. She didn't hate me. You hated me. You hated me. You slept with somebody we worked with. I never hated you. You stopped sleeping with me. Okay, I, I, I never cheated on you. That's cheating on me. But there's so much more I could have done. Okay. You yeah, don't okay. get that. No, you don't get that. I was a director, okay, in my 20s who came from nothing, nothing. And then suddenly I'm on the cover of Time Out of New York, okay? I was a hotshot, not you. And I wanted to sleep with everyone. I wanted to do everything. But I'm, uh, I had you. I had you. And I didn't want to lose that, okay? But I was in my 20s. I'm in my 20s, right? And and you're only 21, right? I'm only going to be 20 in my 20s one time in my life, and then I'm done, and then I die, okay? So I want to take advantage of that. I don't want to lose that either. But because of you, I kind of did. What are you laughing for? You wanted so much so fast. Okay, I didn't even want to get married. Oh, but screw it, right? Screw it. God, there's, it's always what you want. It's always what you want to do. Never what I want to do. It's always you. It's always the goal. It's always the goal, but it's never me. God, there's so much I didn't do. Yeah? Well, yes. thanks for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. God, I can't believe I have to know you forever. You're insane. You are insane. Are you Are you kidding me? I've already lost it all. I was the one who wanted to get married. You did not love me as much as I loved you. What does that have to do with LA? Okay, it has nothing to do with LA. Nothing. What? You're so merged with your own selfishness that you don't see it as selfishness anymore. God, you're such a prick! Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead. Okay, every day I wake up and it's, it's like, if I, could, if I could guarantee that Henry, Henry would be safe, I hope you wake up with an illness. You get hit by a bus and you die, okay? God. I know. Oh, hard. Sorry. Me too.